welcome back to my youtube channel r91 motors today's video will be about piaggio vespa cylinder removal let's check it out This video we will remove the carburetor which is in here and all cylinder in here because we need to check the piston I think one of the piston rings gone that's why we got a smoky engine let's crack on remove these three screws in here uh, the tools we use for these ones is tools like that goes right in here one two and three So as you see we removed them three uh, boys up there and now the carburetor should come off nice and easy. Oh we forget about another hose in here which we need to remove just like that. And there we go that's the carburetor. So now we need to remove one two three four five bolts in here which you can use the 10 millimeter socket or 10 millimeter spanner right, so there we go top is off so now you can see what's in it I don't think we got any problem in here but we're still gonna remove the chain because we got problem with the piston So you, before you do anything else because you're gonna take the chain off and that's a bit messy job as well uh, you need to put your marking points so you're going to put back the chain, if you don't have a, the service book manual, you're going to struggle. Draw we doing right, so that looks pretty close, with the middle bit, yep. So you put one in here, on the top, because believe me, if you're not going to put your marking points, and you're going to remove it, you're going to struggle to get it chained back correctly on, and if you're going to do wrong, probably you're gonna damage your engine so we put one marking point in here as well you can choose I'm gonna choose this line in here like that see so we got both of them like I said if you're gonna do the wrong way your engine probably will be damaged again and probably forever got these uh, marking points done already so you can release a bit tensioner just release it half away don't go too hard uh, this is the top end is a 10 millimeter and these two little bolts in here they are 8 millimeter so the tensioner is off these two bolts together so that one is off the gasket looking not too bad as well it's a good sign right so now we ready to undo one two three four four boys with the 12 millimeter socket and then we're gonna remove the one in here and one in here they are both 8 millimeter, so that should be it and we should see the piston. Okay. 
nicely. Now we can release the chain just gently turning the pulley. Right, lovely, chain is off. So now we can try to move the head gasket. There we go. Voila, so the head is off. So now we can carry on to remove this head off, and the piston should be inside. Hopefully, coming off nice and easy. Some water coming up. Be careful of these, don't lose them as well. They for chain, very important. So we keep these parts open here. So, what we got. There. Do we got any problem? Let's have a look. Right now. So that's the that's the piston. It looks not so bad. There's only thirteen thousand kilometers this engine done. So I'm not worried about the piston actually, but I worry about more the piston rings. Which we will check in a second. All right, then. Piston is off, and let's check for the rings because I was complaining about smokes coming, and I was thinking there is too much oil going to exhaust, which I'm completely right. I'm not too sure if you see that, but look, it's broken in here, starts from here till there and that's an oil ring so basically it didn't protect the oil going more to exhaust because it's broken yep so piston ring is broken and we need new piston ring as well wow so that's another problem suspect that was about the smoky engine too much smoke was coming up from the exhaust, like a bluish and white, which is not supposed to be there. Rest of it looks pretty good. Don't see the problems up there because the engine is it's pretty good condition inside from outside. Unfortunately, is not too good, but we're gonna make it good. It's not, it's no deal about that. Right then, so you see how to remove the head cylinder and a piston. Subscribe and follow. See you in the next video.